Hey guys, I am so excited about this video blog. I have been wanting to do one of these for a long time. And so this is a very first video on my blog uh, called Kingdom Corner. And I just want to post testimonies, um, the adventures of Sherry Wilson, if you will. Um, you know, the, the things that God does in the lives of those around me and in my own life and the um, ministry that I get to be a part of and to participate in, as well as um, posts on uh, how to walk in divine health and tips and tricks and things that God has shown me, as well as thoughts about the kingdom and things that God has revealed to me uh, in my life. And um, just lots of neat things. And so I encourage you to subscribe and to share with your friends. But this first blog is called Treasure Hunt. And this is amazing. Um, for those of you that don't know what a treasure hunt is, basically, um, Kevin Dedman, uh, I believe his book is titled The Ultimate uh, Treasure. Um, I, I believe that's it. Anyway, he is an associate pastor at Bethel in Redding, California. And I read his book and he um, talked about how to go out uh, and, and get your clues and then go out and find people uh, to pray for. And so um, you have like a piece of paper and you'll get with, you know, a group and you'll ask Holy Spirit, okay, Lord, you know, show me the clues. Kind of like, you know, a real treasure hunt where you get these clues to find the treasure. Well, this time we're getting clues to help us identify people that are God's treasure that he is highlighting for us to pray for. And so me and my friend Corey and my son Kent and his girlfriend Christy were on our first treasure hunt and it was number one amazing but number two it was hilarious. I mean with these videos you're gonna be able to kind of get a glimpse into the ridiculousness that happens in my life and it starts right here at the treasure hunt. So I gotta give you some preview information. Um, I'm an avid uh, worker outer I guess you could say. I love to exercise. I love uh, to work out and because I was sick for so long so I really treasure the ability to be active. And um, so anyway I've been wanting to do a workout that my sister does in Texas called CrossFit and we looked online and no one in Clovis seemed to do CrossFit, you know, so I'm like, well, I'll just keep doing P90X and not worry about it. Well, we, um, so keep that in mind. So we as a group get together and we get our clues and um, let me just give you an example of our clues. Mine was I saw an elderly lady in a green shirt and I knew that she had right knee pain and I also got um, financial problems and loneliness and Hastings and then um, Corey got several clues but the main ones were Walmart, um, hula hoops and frisbees and then my son got uh, a red shirt, um, I think right foot pain, I'm not sure uh, and, and then I got high knee and Corey got right knee and so we have all these clues. Christy got um, a gas station and a man that is dirty um, like he'd you know, been working or he's homeless and then um, work. And so the thing with treasure hunts is you don't always find all of your treasure the, the first day. And, and then the second thing is that like clues from my page can go uh, with clues from another person's page. And, you, and you'll see how that works out. So anyway, um, my son also got a shoe store. Well, we know that um, a shoe store is right next door to Hastings. So we decided to stop there. Uh, start there and so we go uh, to the shoe store and me and Kent didn't really feel that was a place in our spirits but we just kind of you know hung out and just in case and we go over and we look at the um, athletic shoes and we found these really weird ones to have toes but anyway um, and I was like oh these are really cool I need to save up and buy these it's like you know beginning to cost money to go on a treasure hunt so I'm gonna leave my billfold at home from now on anyway um, so the lady that worked there, she's like, yeah, I wear those shoes all the time for CrossFit. And I'm like, CrossFit? What do you mean CrossFit? There's a CrossFit here? And so I got the information and what amazes me is that here we're going to bring the kingdom to people and healing and praying for them. And God cares about my workout routine and CrossFit. So it's like a little extra bonus. So of course I am stoked. So now it's time to really bring the kingdom. God's blessed me, show me how much he loves me, how much he cares about me. I wanna show other people that. So we go to Hastings and you, know, you kind of feel like a stalker, you know, cause you're just looking around like, what do you do until the treasure comes? Anyway, so we're looking at different books and stuff and I see this elderly lady that looked like what I had seen in my spirit and her shirt in, in, in my spirit was green. And so when I first saw her at the store, it looked green. But when I got closer, the only green on it was like a stripe, like it was a striped shirt. 
but I knew, I knew it was her. And um, so she went over like to the Christian fiction, which I thought was cool that our first treasure God gives us as a believer makes it a little bit easier. And so we go over to her and we're, you know, we told her what we were doing and um, how we were hunting for treasure to pray for and we think that she was it. And, um, and so I said, you know, do you have a right knee pain? And um, she goes, yeah. She said, I had a knee surgery on both knees, but my right knee hasn't healed as easily and it's um, been hurting me tremendously. And so I said, well, you're our treasure. And I told her how me and Corey both got a right knee pain. I um, saw an elderly lady in a green shirt and all of that. And so we prayed for her and she, um, I, I kind of forgot to keep praying until she was healed. So she definitely felt better. I don't know if she was totally healed, but you know, you're like nervous. And so you just um, learn as you go. And so, you know, we're, we're pumped because we have found our first treasure. And so then um, we decided to hit Walmart because um, obviously she got Walmart, hula hoops, frisbees, and um, that to us spoke of toy section. So we go to Walmart and um, we're like stalking, um, just hanging out, you know, the at the um, hula hoop and frisbee section, and no one's you know showing up. Well, remember I got Jaime and Kent got um, red shirt. So a couple of our friends showed up and we're just talking and stuff. And, uh, and then um, Corey goes, hey, there's a, a guy in a red shirt. I wonder if that's our next treasure. And I'm like, I don't know, let me check it out. And so he was you know, walking and he had his family with him and they're still talking. So I run over to look down the aisle and um, not only is, I think he's our treasure, but the dude is playing with the hula hoop. And so to me, that was like ridiculously clear that he was our next treasure. In fact, it freaked me out. I was like, oh my gosh. And I ran back to get the rest of the team. He's the one, he's the one. And of course we're freaking out. And it's like a big puzzle. It's like an adventure. And God is just like ridiculously amazing. So he has this dude do the hula hoop. So we chase him down, you know, and his family was probably like, what is up with these people? But anyway, and so we told him what we were doing and how we got hula hoop and red shirt. And here he's doing the, the red shirt and the hula hoop. And so I, you know, we asked him his name, he says, Jesus. And we're like, okay. And I said, well, do you know a Jaime? And his eyes get big and he says, yeah, that's my cousin. And I'm like, wow, okay. And um, I said, well, do you, or, you know, does he, you know, we're all like questioning him. Do y'all um, have problems with right foot pain? And he goes, no, but my uncle who's here with me does. We were just talking about it on the way to Walmart. And we're like, really? And he's like, yeah. And so we wanted to pray for him anyway. And I asked him if maybe he had a financial problem because that was one of my clues. And he's like, yeah, you know, and so we prayed and blessed him and, you know, made sure and let him know that Jesus cared about him and highlighted him to us to pray for. And so he told us what his uncle looked like. He's kind of short and big and he had a couple kids with him. Or we go to find him and I see this guy and I know it's him. His name is Lupe. And I'm like, I know that's him. And um, so we go up to him and we're like, hey, do you have a nephew named Jesus? He's like, no, you know, because he's like, who are these crazy people? And we're like, well, we just talked to him and he said that you have right foot pain. And he stops. He's like, well, yeah, I do. We were just talking about it on the way to Walmart. And I said, well, God told us about this. And um, we showed him our clues and what happened with his nephew. And he said, well, I've been to a chiropractor and I guess he'd been to some form of a, a Hispanic witch doctor. I'm not sure what they're called. And um, so we're like, well, the Lord loves you and he's highlighted you, so we wanna pray for your fit. And we're all, you know, sharing this information. He's like, okay. So we had Kent lay hands on his foot and I guess he had heard it playing football. It was like two months ago, he couldn't get relief. And so Kent laid hands on his foot and me and Corey and Chrissy began to pray and release the kingdom, we release the Holy Spirit, we release healing and we have him test it out. And he's like, oh my goodness, it feels better. And um, we're like, well, how much, you know, like percentage wise? And he's about 80%. I said, well, let's pray again. And so we prayed again and he's like, wow, it's like fine. And he's like, you know, standing on it and stomping on it and stuff. And he goes, in fact, my um, left foot hurts worse now because he, I guess he'd overcompensated. So God healed his right foot and I needed his left foot healed. So we prayed and he was healed of both the pain and we made sure that he knew that Jesus loved him and his power is stronger um, than any uh, witch doctor, which that was um, confirmed. And so um, anyway, it was just a really neat um, thing to do. And you know, I've prayed for people as I go about life, but I've never done a treasure hunt. And so um, we're going to, you know, provide training for that. And we're going to raise up, you know, groups and we're going to go out and do this regularly. And so if you want to be involved in the kingdom of heaven, where it's not, you know, just boring 
um, business as usual Christianity, but you want to be part of something vibrant, um, then contact the ministry at freeempower.com and or email me at sherryw at q.com and um, let me know if you want to go and we will arrange a time to go and hunt for treasure. So I hope this inspires you to um, listen to Holy Spirit and go and find his treasure and pray for them to be healed, pray for them to be blessed and lead them to the Lord. God bless.